But deep in the dark green shadows are voices that urge me to stay. So I pause and I wait and I listen for one more sound, for one more lovely thing that the hills might say. The hills are alive with the sun. to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on the breeze. To laugh like a brook as it trips and falls over stones on its way. To sing through the night like a lark who is I think we should be pleased with our efforts. Out of 28 postulants, 16 or 17 are ready to enter the novitiate. Let's consider the doubtful ones again. There's Ermagard. Reverend Mother, there's no doubt about Ermagard. The religious life is no place for the pious. You mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Berta. Oh, and there's Christina and Maria. Well, after last night, I don't think there could be any doubt in the Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for the day. I told you, Sister Berta. Ave. Reverend Mother, I brought Maria. She's waiting. Sister Sophia, the mistress of the postulants and the mistress of the novices do not see eye to eye about Maria. How do you feel about her? Well... I love her very dearly. But she always seems to be getting into trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I say. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee. Her dress has got a tear. She waltzes on her way to math and whistles on the stair. And underneath her wimple, she has curlers in her hair. I've even heard her singing in the abbey. She's always late for chapel, but her penitence is real. She's always late for everything except for every meal. I hate to have to say it, but I very firmly feel Maria's not an asset to the Abbey. I'd like to say a word in her behalf. Then say it, Sister Margareta. Maria makes me laugh. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you find a word that means Maria? A flip a tidget, a will-o'-wisp, a cloud. Many a thing you know. 
know you'd like to tell her Many things she'd ought to understand But how do you make her stay And listen to all you say How do you catch a wave upon the sand Oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria and bemused, and I never know exactly where I am. Unpredictable as weather, she's as flighty as a feather. She's a darling. She's a demon. She's a lamb. She'll outpester any pest, drive a hornet from its nest. She could throw a whirling dervish out of work. She's gentle, she's wild. She's a riddle, she's a child. She's a headache. She's an angel. She's a girl. How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you find a word that means Maria? A flippity gibbet, a will of a wisp, a cloud. Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her. Many a thing she ought to understand. But how do you make her stay? Do all you say. How do you keep a wave upon the sand? Reverend Mother, may I just say... Now, my children, I think I should talk to Maria instead of about her. I am grateful to you all. Roberta. Ave. Come here, my child. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Yes, about last night. Reverend Mother, I was on my knees most of the night because I was late, and after you'd been so kind and given me permission to leave. It wasn't about your being late, Maria. Oh, I must have awakened half the Abbey before Sister Sophia heard me and opened the gate. Maria, very few of us were asleep. We could only think you had lost your way, and to be lost at night on that mountain. Reverend Mother, I couldn't be lost on that mountain. That's my mountain. I was brought up on it. It was that mountain that brought me to you. Oh. When I was a little girl, I used to come down the mountain, climb a tree, and look over into your garden. I'd see the sisters at work, and I'd hear them sing on their way to Vespers. Many times, I went back up that mountain in the dark, singing all the way. And that brings up another transgression. I was singing yesterday, and I was singing without your permission. Maria, it is only here in the Abbey that there is a rule about singing. That's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margareta is always reminding me, but too late after I've started singing. And the other day, in the garden, you were singing at the top of your voice. But mother, it's that kind of song. <laughs> when I came to the window, you saw me and you stopped. Yes. That's been on my mind ever since it happened. It's been on my mind, too. I wish you hadn't stopped. I used to sing that song when I was a child. And now I can't quite remember. Please. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles Wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings These are a few of my favorite things Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes Silver-white winters that melt into springs These are a few of my favorite things when the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad <laughs> Rain 
raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things. singing at the top of our voices. <laughs> You're right. It is that kind of a song. And singing it always makes me feel better. Mother, where did you learn that song? I was brought up in the mountains myself. Maria, in spite of what you saw over the abbey wall, you weren't prepared for the way we live here, were you? No, Mother, but I pray and I try. And what is the most important lesson you've learned here? To find out what is the will of God and to do it. Even if it is hard to accept? Even then. And the dress you wore when you came to us, is it still in the robing room? Why, no, Mother, I'm sure that's been given to the poor. Mm. Sister Margareta said when we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes. Oh, Reverend Mother, why do you ask? Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh, no, Mother, please, no. For a while only. Please don't send me away, Mother. This is what I want. This is my life. But are you ready for it? Perhaps, if you go out into the world again for a time, you will return to us, knowing what we expect, and that we do expect it. I know what you expect, Mother, and I'll do it. I promise. Maria! If it is God's will... Where am I to go? There is a family, a family of seven children. You like children, you are very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He is a fine man and a brave one. He was given the Maria Theresa Medal by the Emperor for heroism in the Adriatic. Oh, a captain in the Navy. Mother, he'll be very strict. <laughs> Maria, you're not being sent to his battleship. God bless you, Maria. Reverend Mother, have I your permission to sing? Yes, my child. These are a few of my favorite things. I have been given permission to sing. Paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. in your hand.
Yes, sir. I was calling the housekeeper and she did not answer. Do you know why? Sometimes she doesn't hear, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I was answering the telephone. Good day, sir. We're happy to have you home again. Why did the last governess leave? Who knows? She simply said I've had enough of this and walked out. Why? Was Louisa playing tricks on her? Putting toads in her bed? Well, she didn't complain of that, sir. Hmm. Well, there's another one coming today. And this one can't walk out. Oh. She's coming from Nonberg Abbey. We're thought to stay until September. Well, I hope you'll be at home for a time, sir. Just until tomorrow. The telephone call, was it for me? No, sir. It was for Franz. Before you came, there was a call from Vienna, uh, Frau Schrader. I have the number in the... I have the number. I shall be back in about a month or so, with some guests. Yes, sir. Do you know how many, sir? Just two. Herr Detweiler uh, and... Herr Detweiler. And Frau Schrader. Who wanted me on the telephone? It was the post office. They got a telegram for you. It will be delivered at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. That gives me five hours to be nervous. With that scatterbrained boy delivering telegrams. Well, that's one thing people are saying. If the Germans did take over Austria, we'd have efficiency. Don't let the captain hear you say that. You know, he didn't whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of the ship again. I can't bear being whistled for. It's humiliating. In the Imperial Navy, the bosun always whistled for us. But I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. Too bad. Could have made a fortune. You will wait here. I am the Captain Von Trapp. You are Fraulein? Maria. Maria Rayner. Maria. Now, Fraulein, as to your duties here. Would you mind stepping over there, please? Before the children meet you, you will put on another dress. I haven't any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. And what about this one? Well, the poor didn't want this one. This is what you would call a worldly dress? It belonged to our last postulant. I would have made myself a dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Oh, good. I'll see to it that you are given some material. Today, if possible. Now, you will be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will find out how far along they are in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon, they march. You will see to it that at all times they conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir. Children, this is your new governess, Fraulein Maria. As I sound your signal, you will step forward and repeat your names. You, Fraulein, will listen and learn their signals so that you may call for them when you want them. Liesel. Friedrich. Louisa. Kurt. Begita. Marta. And that is Gretel. Now, Fraulein, let us see how well you listened. Oh, I won't have to whistle for them, Reverend Captain. What I meant is I'll be with them all the time. Not on all occasions. This is a very large house and estate. 
Children have been taught to only come when they hear their signals. Now, when I want you, this is what you'll hear. Oh, oh you won't have to trouble, sir, because I could not answer to a whistle. Why, that's nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. Here, I'll show you. Yes, sir? This is my orderly, uh, my butler. The new governess, Fraulein Maria. Yes, sir? This is my executive officer, Frau Schmidt, the housekeeper. Fraulein Maria, please be sure that a room is ready. Yes, sir. Well, I shall now leave you with the children. You are in command. Pardon me, sir, but I don't know how to address you. You would call me Captain. Thank you, Captain. I forgot to return this whistle, Captain. I won't need it, Captain. <laughs> well, now that there's just us, would you tell me your names again and tell me how old you are? Now you're? I'm Liesel. I'm 16 years old and I don't need a governess. I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends. I'm Friedrich. I'm 14. I'm a boy. <laughs> boy? Why, you're almost a man. I'm Brigitte. You didn't tell me how old you are, Louisa. I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa and she's 13 years old and you're smart. I'm nine and I think your dress is the ugliest one I ever saw. Brigitte, you mustn't say a thing like that. Why not? Don't you think it's ugly? If I did think so, I wouldn't say so. I'm Kurt. I'm 11. Almost. Well, that's a nice age to be. 11. Almost. I'm Marta, and I'm going to be seven on Tuesday, and I'd like a pink parasol. Pink is my favourite colour too. And you're... Gretel. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. I've never been a governess before. How do I start? You mean you don't know anything about being a governess? No. Well, the first thing that you need to do is tell Father to mind his own business. <laughs> no, Louisa, don't. I like it. What's in here? My guitar. What did you bring this for? For when we all sing together. We don't sing. Of course you sing. Everybody sings. Now. What songs do you know? We don't know any songs. You don't? No. no. Well, then I know just where to start. I'm going to teach you how to sing. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. Uh, here, I'll make it easier. Listen. Do, a deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun, Me, a name I call myself, Far, a long, long way to run, So, a needle pulling thread, Love, a note to follow, So, tea, a drink with jam and bread, That will bring us A deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun, me, a name I call myself, far, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread, love, a note to follow, so, tea, a drink with jam and bread.
so and so on? No. Do, re, mi, fa, so, and so on are only the tools we use to build a song. Once we have these notes in our heads, we can sing a million different tunes. How? By mixing them up. Listen. <laughs> so, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. Now you do it. So, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. So, do, la, ti, do, re, do. So, do, la, ti, do, re, do. Now let's put it all together. So, do, la, One word for every note, like this. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. You said one word for every note? Yes, Brigitte, I did. But when you sing anything, you're using up three notes on one word. Yes, that's right. Well, sometimes we do that. <laughs> now, all together. When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Oh, a deer, a female deer, a drop of golden sun. Liesel. Yes? You know you don't have to say goodnight this early just because your father's home. How did you know my father was home? I have a way of knowing things. Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, no, I'm not, really. Yes, you are. How did you know two days ago that you would be here at just this time tonight with a telegram for Franz? Well, every year on this day, he gets a birthday telegram from his sister. You see? You are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow night? Now, Rolf, you can't be sure you're going to have another telegram to deliver here tomorrow night. I could come here by mistake with a telegram for Colonel Schneider. He's here from Berlin. He's staying with the Gauleiter, but I... 
No one's supposed to know he's here. Don't tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. <laughs> We're all Austrian. Well, there are some people who think we ought to be German. They're getting pretty mad at those who don't think so. They're getting ready to... Let's just hope your father doesn't get into any trouble. Uh, don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I know. I don't worry about him. The only one I worry about is his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you, Liesel? Sixteen? What's wrong with that? You wait, little girl, on an empty stage For fate to turn the light on Your life, little girl, is an empty page That men will want to write on are 16 going on 17 baby it's time to think better beware be canny and careful baby you're on the brink you are 16 going on 17 fellows will fall in line eager young lads and ways and cads will offer you food and wine totally unprepared are you to face a world of men timid and shy and scared are you of things beyond your ken you need someone older and wiser telling you what to do I am 17, going on 18, I'll take care of you. Going on 18, I'll 
Fräulein Maria. Fräulein Maria, it's Frauschmidt. I'm getting ready for bed. The captain is going to Vienna tomorrow. I have the material he ordered for an address for you. Oh, how nice of him. Even before it's made, this is the prettiest dress I've ever had. Oh, I hope the captain will like it, because I'd like to ask him for more material. More? Not for me, for the children. For play clothes. <laughs> the Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They have to climb trees, roll on the grass. Just think of all the rocks and caves. And the captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you find your room comfortable. Uh, yes, thank you. Of course, there will be new curtains hung from the window in the alcove. They will be hung tomorrow. But these curtains are very good. There will be new curtains. Will the captain be away long? Oh, who knows? Of course, he has to come home every time we hire his new governess. Sometimes think the children get rid of the governesses just to see their father. Well, he must want to see them too. Since his wife died, they remind him too much of her. You can put that away. You won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music? And he used to love music. There were wonderful evenings. His wife would sing and he would play the guitar or violin. But now... He shut all of it out of his life. So that's why he's the way that he is. But not to have music, that's wrong for him and wrong for the children, too. It will work out. The captain may marry again before the summer is over. Well, that would change everything. Why, they'd have a mother again. <laughs> it's going to rain. Better close your window. Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to love their new mother and prepare them to win her love so she will never want them to leave her. And I pray this will become a happy family in thy sight. God bless the captain. God bless Liesel, Friedrich, Louisa, Marta, Brigitta, and little Gretel. And oh yes, I forgot the other boy. What's his name? Well, God bless what's his name. God bless the Reverend Mother and Sister Margareta and everybody at Nornburg Abbey. And now, dear God, about Liesel. Help her to know that I am her friend and help her to tell me what she is up to. Are you going to tell Father? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk and somebody locked the doors earlier than usual. Of course, I didn't want to wake everybody up, so when I saw your window open. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Did you climb that trellis to get up here? That's how we always used to get into this room to play tricks on the governess. Louisa can climb it with a toad in her hands. Uh, Liesel, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if we wash that skirt out tonight, nobody would notice it tomorrow. Then all this could be just between you and me. Here, you could put this on. Take your skirt in there and put it to soak in the bathtub. Then come back here and sit on the edge of my bed and we'll have a talk. I told you today that I didn't need a governess. Maybe I do. Oh, it's you, Gretel. Are you afraid? You're not afraid of a thunderstorm, are you? Now you just stay right here with me. Where are the others? They're asleep. They're not scared. Wait for me! Oh no, look. Come, all of you, up on the bed. Now all we have to do is wait for the boys. We won't see them. Boys are brave. Uh, you boys aren't frightened too, are you? Oh no. We just wanted to make sure you weren't. And was this your idea, Friedrich? <laughs> no, it was Kurt's. That's it, Kurt. That's the one I left out. God bless Kurt. <laughs> Why does it do that? Well, the lightning says something to the thunder and the thunder answers it back. I wish it would answer so loud. Well, maybe if we all sing loud enough, we won't hear the thunder. High on a hill was a lonely goat herd, lay on lay on lay hoo. Loud was the voice of the lonely goat herd, lay on lay on loo. Folks in a town that was quite remote herd, lay on lay on lay hoo. Lost and clear from the goat herd's throat herd, lay on lay on loo. Oh, lady on lay ho, oh, lady on lay. Oh, lady on lay ho, lady on lay ho. 
Prince on a bridge of a castle moat heard lay or lay or lay hoo. Men on a road with a low two toed heard lay or lay or loo. Men in the midst of a table d'hote heard lay or lay or lay hoo. Men drinking beer with a foam afloat heard lay or lay or loo. Oh ho, lady or lay ho, oh ho, lady or lay, oh ho, lady or lay ho, lady or lay ho, lay. One little girl in a pale pink coat heard lay or lay or lay hey ho. She yodeled back to the lonely goat heard lay or lay or loo. Soon her mama with a gleaming glow heard lay or lay or lay hey ho. What a duet for a girl and goat heard lay or lay or loo. Oh ho, lady or lay ho, oh ho, lady or lay, oh ho, lady or lay ho, lady or lay ho, lay. Happy are they, lady. Will become a tree of play, or lay, 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 to the lonely goat herd. Soon her mama with a gleaming glow turned lay or lay or lay. Hey ho! What a duet for a girl and goat herd lay or lay or loo. Oh ho, lady or lay ho, oh ho, lady or lay ho, oh ho, lady or lay ho, lady or lay ho, lay. Happy are they, lady or lady lay or oh, lady or lady lay day or. Soon the duet will become a tree. Franz, did you tell her Detweiler we're having coffee out here? Yes, sir. Uh, Detweiler is still on the telephone. Tea, Frost Schrader? Oh, thank you. <laughs> no sign of the children, Franz? Not yet, sir. Georg, those mountains, they're magnificent. Oh, yes. They're not like any other mountains. They're friendly. Look, that green stretch of wood over there. Why, when the wind moves through it, it's like a restless sea. And that sweet little village. Oh, that's not a village. That's a town. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt its feelings. <laughs> you know, it's fun being here with you. You're quite an experience for me. Well, you're quite an experience for me, too. Somewhere in you, there's a fascinating man. Occasionally, I'll catch a glimpse of him, and when I do, he's exciting. <laughs> exciting? I've never been called exciting before. I'm beginning to understand you better now that you're here. You know, you're little like those mountains, except that you keep moving. How can you be away from this place as much as you are? Maybe I've been searching for a reason to come back and stay. Georg, I like it here very much. <laughs> Max still can't be on the telephone. I know that he's desperate about getting singers for the Colzberg Festival, but uh, 
You like it here? Well, we'd have to spend some time in Vienna. I have Heinrich's estate to look after. I thought that that was a corporation. It is, and I'm the president. You, president of a corporation? Well, after all, I managed Heinrich's affairs for years before he died. I just can't see you sitting behind a big desk. Well, of course. I wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. Uh, that fellow would like a coffee. While he's telephoning, he just finished. I'm sorry I took so long. <laughs> Any luck? How would you like this for the Kolzberg Festival? The finest choral group in Austria, the greatest mixed quartet in all Europe, and the best soprano in the entire world. Max, that's something I'd love to hear. So would I. <laughs> all I've up to now is a basso isn't even profundo. Max, you always come up with a good festival concert. And why? It's because my motto is never start out looking for the people you wind up getting. That's why I've been telephoning Paris, Stockholm, mm -hmm. London... On um... Georg's telephone. How else could I afford it? <laughs> why else am I up here? I hoped it was because you liked me. Of course I like you. Why shouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an expansive wine Max. cellar. Max! I like rich people. <laughs> I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them and speaking as a government official. I... Well... Gail, do you have a cathedral around here? An abbey. Nunberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? Oh, a beautiful one. Good. In the next few days, I'll have to visit all these towns around here and listen to zagabonds, choirs, quartets, and trios. You'll be back in time for meals, won't you? Of course. <laughs> It was in a town about that size, a uh, Weizmann, that I met the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival, became very famous, toured all around the world. Oh, yes, whatever became of them? Well, by the time their voices had changed, they'd made enough money to live in America. <laughs> Who lives in that dilapidated castle down there? Rumpelstilski? <laughs> uh, Baron Elberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet them. I'd like to meet all of your friends. Georg, why don't you have a dinner for me while I'm here? Nothing very much, just something lavish. I wouldn't know whom to invite. These days it's difficult to tell who's a friend and who's an enemy. Well, this isn't a good time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. I can't understand what's happened to the children. You're not worried about them, are you? No, but... I wanted them to be here to greet you. Well, it couldn't have been an intentional slide. They haven't met me yet. <laughs> Forgive me. I'll try and find them. <laughs> Elsa, have you made up Georg's mind yet? Is he going to marry oh, you? Yes. He hasn't admitted it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. And you don't know what that is? No. <laughs> I do. What? It's very simple. It's money. Money? Yes. He's rich. You're rich. In all the famous love affairs, the lovers have to struggle. In garret rooms or way upstairs, the lovers starve and snuggle. The famous for misfortunes which they seem to have no fear of. While lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. Not a sign of them anywhere. Little shack do you share with me? We do not flee from the mortgagee. Nary a care in the world have we. How can love survive? You're fond of bond and you own a lot. I have a plane and a diesel yacht. Plenty of nothing you haven't got. How, How can, can love survive? Rides for us on the top of a bus in the face of the freezing breezes. You reach your goals in your comfy old roads or in one of your Mercedeses. Far, very far off the beam are we, quaint and bizarre as a team are we. Two millionaires with a dream are we, but we'll keep romance alive. Two millionaires with a dream are we. We'll make our love survive. No little cool 
cold water flat have we Warmed by the glow of insolvency Up to your necks in security How can the love survive? How can I show what I feel for you? I will not go out and steal for you I cannot die like a meal for you How can love survive? You millionaires with financial affairs are too busy for simple pleasure. When you are poor, it does too your l'amour, for l'amour all the poor have leisure. Caught in our gold-plated chains are we, lost in our wealthy domains are we, trapped by our capital gains are we, but we'll keep romance alive. Trapped by your capital gains, are you? Who will make your love save <laughs> What do you want? Oh, Captain! I don't see, I mean, I didn't know that you, um... Heil! Who are you? I have a telegram for Air Detweiler. I am Air Detweiler. <laughs> You've delivered your telegram. Now get out! Georg, he's just a boy. I am an Austrian. I will not be hired! Georg, why don't you look at things the way I do? What's going to happen is going to happen. Just be sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's a good thing you haven't any character. Because if you did, I'm convinced I'd hate you. <laughs> you couldn't hate me. I'm too lovable. <laughs> Excuse me, Ed Detweiler. There's a call for you. It's from... I'll take it. I can't believe that you children are cheaters at hide and seek. No, I didn't. Yo, Captain, you're home. Straight line! Get cleaned up. Get back into your uniforms and report back here. At once! Fraulein Maria, where did they get these abominations? Out of a nightmare? No, out of some curtains. The curtains that used to hang in my bedroom. There was plenty of wear left Just in them. Just a moment. Do you mean to say that the people of the neighborhood have seen my children wearing old curtains? Oh, yes. They've become very popular. Everyone smiles at them. I don't wonder. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been a credit to my name. But, Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy little marching machines. I do not care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said I do not want to hear. I know you don't, but you've got to. Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore. And if you keep treating her as one captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. Friedrich is afraid to be himself. He's shy. He's aloof. Friedrich needs you. He needs your confidence. Don't you tell me about my son. Brigitte could tell you about him. She could tell you a lot more if you got to know her. Because she notices things. And she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. Kurt is sensitive. He's easily hurt and you ignore him. You brush him aside the way you do all of them. I haven't finished yet. Louisa wants to have a good time. You've just got to let her have a good time. Marta, I don't know about yet, but someone has to find out about her. And little Gretel just wants to be loved. Oh, please, Captain, love Gretel. Love all of them. They need you. Stop! Stop it! You will pack your things and return to the Abbey as soon as you can. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. Not in the way that I said them. After you're gone, there'll be peace and quiet in this... With the sound of music. What's that? Singing. With songs they have sung. Singing. For a thousand Who is singing? Years. Your children. My children. Singing. I wanted them to sing for Frau Schrader when they met her. Georg. 
must hear. Enchanting your children are. Children, I, I would like for you to show Frau Schrader the gardens. Yes, show me the gardens. I want to see everything, and with you too. I don't know any of your names yet, but that doesn't matter. I'm sure I won't get them straight for a long time. My name is Marta. It is not. My name is Marta. She's <laughs> Louisa. You were right. I don't know my own children. They're waiting to know you. They want so much to. After I'm gone... Oh, no. No, I want you to stay. If I can be of any help. You have helped already. You've brought music back into my home. I had forgotten. To laugh like a brook as it trips and falls over stones in its way to sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray I go to the hills when my heart is lonely I know I will hear what I've heard before My heart will be blessed With the sound of music And I'll sing once more Ray, a drop of gold in sun I came back to congratulate you. Thank you. The captain was really moved. Yes, I think he was pleased. He's asked me to stay on with the children. Oh, you're staying on. Until September. September? Then I go back to the Abbey. The Abbey? I'm going to be a nun. Oh, how nice. <laughs> when you get back to the Abbey, think of us. I'll pray for you. the guests. Come along, children. The party started. Frau Schmidt, will you fix my bow? We never had a party in our house before. Oh, yes. There used to be plenty of parties here. Friedrich and I used to sneak out and watch them from the top of the stairs. I remember the music. Once your father brought a gypsy band all the way from Budapest. Yes, they wore red coats. Go ahead, children, and mind your manners. I remember beautiful ladies. Everybody laughing. Liesl? Yes? There was one lady. The most beautiful of all. I think she was here all the time. Yes, Louisa. Can we dance while the guests are dancing? Of course, but remember what Fraulein Maria told us. Yes. yes.
You have German blood, do you not? I am no German, I'm an Austrian! There will be Anschluss! I warn you, and everyone like you, and that goes for- It is much more pleasant out on the terrace. Ah. Elberfeld, so nice to have you and the Baroness here again. Oh, Frau Schrader's charming, Georg. Yes, I hope she isn't ill. Oh, no, just a headache. I'm on my way up to get up. We shall find you on the terrace. Father, I don't think these people are having a very good time. Seems like half the people I've invited aren't speaking to the other half. Well, Father, maybe they're having a good time not speaking to each other. <laughs> Sir, Frau Schrader asked me to let you know that she will join you in a few minutes. Thank you. You might see whether she would like a glass of brandy. Oh, Kurt, I haven't danced the landless since I was a little girl. Oh, you remember? Show me. No, I haven't danced some. You said right hand behind the back. Yes, that's right. But first the boy and girl meet. Yes. And then we'll go for a little stroll. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Step, hop, step, hop, and all the way around. <laughs> oh, Kurt, we'll have to practice. <laughs> no, Kurt, that's wrong. Here, let me show you. Well, Kurt, that's how it's done. Your face is all red. I guess I'm not very used to dancing. Well, hello there. Good evening, Frau Schrader. I hope you're feeling better, Frau Schrader. Yes, thank you. Kurt, Kurt. <laughs> hello, Uncle Max, we're having a party. Good. Tell your father it's sure to be a success. I'm here. <laughs> Max. Oh, Elsa. You're without a doubt the most beautiful corporation president in the entire world. Thank you, Max. Max, you're back. And as usual, just in time for dinner. <laughs> Georg, did you think you could give a gala without me? Oh dear. Now we have an odd man. A little odd, but charming. <laughs> Liesel, run and ask Frau Schmidt to set two more places. Oh, and I want to see Fräulein Maria. Two places? We need another woman. Who? Liesel? No, she's much too young. I'll ask Maria. You're not serious. But of course, she's a nursemaid. I don't think of her that way. I don't mind, but your friends, you can't ask them to dine with Maria. Why not? Elsa, tell him why not. Max, can you change in a hurry? Oh yes, Max, we can use you tonight. They're talking about you out there. Oh, come on, Georg. I've been dodging these people for an hour. Peter, have you seen your father? Good evening, Fräulein Maria. Herr Detweiler, it's nice to see you again. Yes, you're going to. I knew it all along. Frau Schrader didn't have a headache. She swung out the party. She was faking. Now, Brigitte, you shouldn't say things you don't know are true. But I do know. I had to say to father she'd been dodging these people. That doesn't mean that she didn't have a headache. It's very important that you children like Frau Schrader. I like her all right. Why is it important? Well, I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Fräulein, 
father's never going to marry her. Why, he couldn't. Why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. Now, Brigitte, that's just the kind of thing. That. No, Brigitte, no. Remember the other night when we were all sitting on the floor singing the Edelweiss song he taught us? After we finished, you laughed him for forgetting the words. He didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. And when he speaks to you, the way his voice sounds... Brigitte, no. And the way you looked at him just now when you were dancing. You're in love with him. <laughs> One more dance, Gretel, then up to bed. Ah, oh, Fraulein Maria, you won't be dining with the children tonight. You'll be eating down here with us. Oh, oh yes, it's all arranged, but you'll have to hurry and get changed. Oh, Maria, wear that dress you wore the other night when we were all singing. It was so lovely, so soft and white. Shall I announce dinner, Captain? Oh, no, not yet. The children will want to say goodnight. Oh, Georg, I wanted the children to say goodnight the way they did last night. No, Elsa, not here. Please, Georg, the way they did it for me, it was so sweet. Not in front of the strangers. Please, Georg, for me. Presto, changel. Max, <laughs> you're just in time. Children, no. is served. Rack this way, please. Elsa, they're extraordinary. Well, Fraulein Maria taught them to do it. I've been searching all over Austria for something like this for the festival, and I find it here. Wait a minute, Max. A singing group of seven children in one family. Max, Georg didn't even want them to sing in front of the guest tonight. I had to persuade him. Ah, so you have the influence. You must talk to him. Max. Elsa, this is important to Austria, and it wouldn't do me any harm. <laughs>
Sister Sophia, please take our new postulant to the robing room. Bless you, my daughter. Reverend Mother, Maria has asked to see you. I know it's taken her a long time. I waited until she wanted to come to me. It's strange. She's happy to be here, but she's unhappy too. Why did they send her back? Do you know? She doesn't speak. She hasn't spoken except in prayer. I shall see her. Maria? This must have been a trying experience for you. It was, Reverend Mother. Has it taught you anything? I've learned that I never want to leave these walls again. What happened? Why did they send you back? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them I was going, without saying goodbye. <sighs> Sit down, Maria. What happened? Why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I... I'd never felt that way before. I couldn't stay, and I knew that here I would be away from it, that here I would be safe. Maria, the Abbey is not to be used as a place of escape. What is it you can't face? I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. <laughs> Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. Oh, tell me about it, my child. Brigitta said that I was, and that her father was in love with me. And then there he was, and we were looking at each other, and I could hardly breathe. Then I knew I couldn't stay. But do you like him? Yes. And did you let him see how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. That's what's been torturing me. I was there on God's errand. To have asked for the captain's love would have been wrong. I don't know, Mother, but I do know this. I am ready at this very moment to take the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. Maria, the love of a man and a woman is holy too. The first time we spoke together, you told me you remembered your parents before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? Yes, Mother, they were very happy. Maria, you were born of their happiness, of their love. And you, my child, have a great capacity to love. What you must find out is how does God want you to spend that love? I've pledged my life to God's service. I've pledged my life to God. If you love this man, it doesn't mean that you love God less. You must go back. You must find out. Please, don't ask me to do that. Please, Mother, let me stay here. These walls were not made to shut out problems. You have to face them. You have to find the life you were born to live. How do I find it? Look for it. Climb every mountain, search high and low. Follow
one little girl in a pale pink coat hat. Layola, Layola, Layola. <laughs> she don't back to the girl and don't know. Layola, hey, for the hell. Soon her mama with a gleaming glow hair. Layola, Layola, Layola. She don't back to the lonely girl. Layola, Layola, Layola. Oh, oh, lady, for the lake. Oh, 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 lady, for the lake. 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 Oh, lady, enough, enough. Now sing seriously. Lisa will give us a key. Do, <gasps> do, mi, so, do. That's nice. Very nice. But it's no good. Imagine you're standing on the stage of a big concert hall. What concert hall, Uncle Max? Oh, any concert hall. Uh, maybe the Carlsberg Concert Hall. But nonetheless, a concert hall full of people. <laughs> Let's try again. Do me so do. Gretel, why don't you sing loud? I've got a sore finger. There. Now, you can sing loud for Uncle Max. The night of the party, you sing so beautifully with such spirit. Well, let's try again. Do me so do. The children wanted to sing for me, the darlings, but, uh, they don't sound as pretty as they used to. We need Fraulein Maria. We do not need Fraulein Maria. You can sing just as well with me. But I have experiences in choirs, quartets, glee clubs. Max, and... please. Now, what are we going to sing? Do a dear, a female Fraulein dear. Fraulein Maria always started with We are not to mention Fraulein Maria. Come on, Max. I feel like a brisk walk. That is just what I need. Is anyone using the car? <laughs> now, what would you like to sing? The hills are alive with the sound of music with songs they have sung for a thousand years No, not that. Luita, you didn't play any of your tricks, any of your jokes on Fraulein Maria. Only those she liked and laughed at. You didn't put any toads in her bed. No, Father. Well, something must have happened for her to leave without even saying goodbye. Isn't Fraulein Maria coming back? No, darling, I, I don't think so. But she's the best governess we've ever had. You're not going to have a governess anymore. Oh, good. I'm not sure that's good. You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? Frau Schrader? Yes. It was all settled last night. I'm very happy. Well, time for your afternoon walk. When Fraulein Maria wanted to feel better, she used to sing us that song, remember? Yes. All right, let's try it. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few. Don't I feel better? Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes Silver white winters that melt into find your father right away. I'll find him. I'll go with you. How's your sore finger? You remembered. Liesl, are you all right? 
Yes, Fräulein, I'm all right. Many telegrams lately? No, Fräulein. Now I'll be happy to go to boarding school. Liesel, you can't use boarding school to escape your problems. You have to face them. Oh, I have so much to talk to you about. We have some things to tell you, too. Well, you must have a great deal to tell me. I guess the most important thing is that Father's going to be married. Married? To Frau Schrader. Are you sure? Oh, yes, he told us. He told us himself. We found him! Liesel? Louisa, Brigitte, boys. We'll be in the nursery. You've come back. Yes, Captain. You left us without any explanation whatsoever. Without even saying goodbye. It was wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Tell me. Please, don't ask me that. Anyway, the reason no longer exists. Then you're back to stay. Only until you can make arrangements for another governess. Oh, no. The children missed you while you were away. I missed... Everyone missed you very much. Nothing was the same while you were away. Everything was wrong. But... We'll talk about it later. You go up to the children now. Maria, a new dress. We have a new postulant. <laughs> I know I'm right, Max. We'll find him and ask him. I'll take your word for it, Elsa. Georg, settle this for me and Max, will you? How far down the mountain does your property go? Do you see that stone wall? That is our property line. You see? I didn't argue about it. I know. That makes me furious. I don't like to win without a fight. Uh, that fella, while you were gone, you received a call from Berlin. Oh! Who could be calling me from Berlin? They said you'd know who it was. Oh, thank you, Franz. <laughs> Georg, what were we just talking about? Max, this isn't the first telephone call you've had from Berlin. Georg, you know I have no political conviction. Can I help it if other people have? Let's not stir that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria, and Max knows that. Then why does he bother to answer those calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep the promise, well, I'd like to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh. You agree too? Georg, this is the way I look at it. There was a man who was dying. They were giving him the last rites. They said to the man, did you renounce the devil and all of his works? And the man said, at this moment, I would like to not make any enemies. Georg, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you, to your property? And to your children? To anyone close to you, to Elsa, to me. Well, what would you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do. Just sit tight and wait for it all to blow over. And you think it will? One thing's for certain. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Oh, don't look so serious, darling. Take the world off your shoulders. Relax. You dear, attractive, dewy-eyed idealist. Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deed or daring do, but up against a shark, what can a herring do? Be wise, compromise. Compromise and be wise. Let them think you're on their side, be known to be tall. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You won't have to bow your head, just stoop a little. Why not learn to put your faith and your reliance on an obvious and simple fact of science? A crazy planet full of crazy people is somersaulting all around the sky and every time it turns another somersault another day goes by and there's no way to stop it no there's no way to stop it no you can't stop it even if you tried so i'm not going to worry no i'm not going to worry every time i see another day go by <laughs> While somersaulting at a cockeyed angle, we make a cockeyed circle round the sun. 
And when we circle back to where we started from, another year has run. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it if the earth wants to roll around the sun. You're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry over anything but little number one. That's you. That's I. And I. And me, that all-absorbing character. That fascinating creature. That super special feature. Me. So on every star, on every twirling planet, and every constellation in the sky, revolves around the center of the universe, a lovely thing called I. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it, and I know, no, I cannot tell you why. But as long as I'm living, just as long as I'm living, there'll be nothing else as wonderful as I. I, 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 nothing else as wonderful as I. I, me, on one thing we can all agree, that each person is important to himself. But you can't save yourself by giving up. And you do not outwit a lion by putting your, your head... Your call from Berlin, sir. ...in the lion's mouth! I'll call them back. You might as well talk to them now, Max. Go. Go. Georg, I feel I know what's going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No. Not if you're willing to see things their way. There's one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. Your sunsets. I'm going to miss them. Captain! Oh, I beg your pardon. Maria! Georg! You didn't tell me Fraulein Maria was back. I'm delighted. Thank you. Captain, the children would like to know if they could take a holiday from their lessons tomorrow so that we can go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. That will make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you happiness too, Frau Schrader, Captain? The children have told me you're going to be married. Oh, I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, I've got to finish my packing if I'm going to get back to Vienna. If you feel you must, I'll tell Franz to have the car ready. I can do that. Auf Wiedersehen, Georg. Goodbye, Maria. I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing. But you said it at the right time. The children told me you were going to marry Frau Schrader. We found we just couldn't see things the same way. The door was shut. Sister Margareta always says when God shuts a door... I know. He, he opens a window. Maria, why did you run away to the Abbey? What made you come back? The Mother Abbess. She said that you have to look for your life. And that often when you find it, you don't recognize it. No. Not at first. And then one day, one night, it stands right before you. Yes. I look at you now, and I realize that this is not something that has just happened. It's something I've known deep inside of me for many weeks. And you knew it too. What was it that told you? Brigitta. <laughs> she said when we were dancing that night. She was quite right. I hadn't danced since I was a very little girl. It's quite different once you're grown up, isn't it? Lots of things are different when you're grown up. When you were a very little girl, did a very little boy ever kiss you? <laughs> yes. That's different too. Is it? <laughs> it? 
It is different. <laughs> Your whole life will be different now, Maria. I I'll take you anywhere you want to go, give you anything you wish. But I don't want to go anywhere. All I could wish for is right here. An ordinary couple is all we'll ever be. For all I want of living is to keep you close to me. To laugh and weep together while time goes on its flight. To kiss you every morning and to kiss you every night. We'll meet our daily problems and rest when day is done. Our rooms around each other in the fading sun. An ordinary couple across the years will ride. Our arms around each other and our children by our side. Our arms around each other. You know, those two should get together sometime. Who? The Mother Abbess and Brigitte. <laughs> An ordinary couple, that's all we'll ever be. For all I want of living is to keep you close to me. To laugh and live together as time goes on its flight. To kiss you every morning and to kiss you every night daily problems and rest when day is done our arms around each other in the fading sun an ordinary couple across the years will ride our arms around each other and our children by our side. Our arms around each other. Maria, is there someone I should go to to ask for permission to marry you? Why don't we ask the children?
Reverend Mother, have I your permission to look at myself? I brought a mirror. It's in my suitcase. Sister Berta. Sister Margareta. <gasps> I don't think she's had time to put in the linings yet. <gasps> Sister Berta, the mirror. Why, Mother, I look... Don't be vain, my daughter. Let me say it for you. You are indeed beautiful, my dear. Festival 1938. Look here, the Vontrap family singers. And here are all of your names. Lisa, Friedrich, Louisa, Kurt, Brigitte, Martha, and Gretel. Why am I always last? <laughs> because you're the youngest. Now, Lisa, I'm depending on you. Day after tomorrow, you must all be ready at 11 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Dad, Father, can you help me, please? The Gallater is here. He wants to know why we aren't flying the new flag. Hi! I try to explain. Keep quiet. When is Captain Bontrap returning? Who knows when a man is on his honeymoon? These are not times for joking. It has been four days since the Anschluss. This is the only house in the province not flying the flag of the Third Reich. You mean the flag with the black spot? 
write her on it. Brigitte, <laughs> do you permit such remarks in this house? Who are you? I am Maximilian Deadweiler, first secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was the third secretary. Now, I'm the first secretary. <laughs> Good. Then you will order them to fly the flag. Captain Von Trapp wouldn't. I mean, I can take my orders only from Captain Von Trapp. You will take your orders from us. And so will the captain. Heil! Heil. Why was he so cross? Everybody's cross these days. Now, your father will not be in trouble. The thing to do today is to get along with everyone. Liesel, you must make sure all of the children get on the bus at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uncle Max, will father be all right with this? He'll be pleased and proud. Liesel, do you think so? Brigitte, don't you trust me? No. <laughs> well, the bus leaves at 11 o'clock. For all on Liesel, see what I have here? That's father's luggage. Yes, the back. Now, Lisa, Lisa, they'll have plenty to tell us. Let's not hurry about telling them anything. <laughs> Max! Gail, we didn't expect you back until next week. Max, it's good you're back. There's much I want to know. Oh, children, we've missed you so very much. What did you miss the most? We missed all that noise you make in the morning. We missed that noise you make telling each other to be quiet. <laughs> we missed coming upstairs to say goodnight to you. We missed hearing you sing. You came back just in time to hear us sing. Look, Father, we're going to be singing at the Kaltzberg Festival on Friday night. Let me see that. Max, are you responsible for this? Georg, I've just been waiting to talk to you about that. You can't talk your way out of this one. Now, Georg, I had to make a last-minute decision. <laughs> I was very fortunate to get to enter them at all. The They'll be the talk of the festival. Seven children in one family. Not my family. The committee heard them. They were enchanted. Oh, really, Max? What did they say? You've never heard such praise. Georg, did you hear? The Von Trapp family does not sing in public. But if they make people happy... And for the festival, people come from all over the world. It is out of the question. Georg, it's for Austria. <laughs> There is no Austria. Well, the Anschluss happened peacefully. Let's at least be grateful for that. Grateful? To these swine? Maria, he must at least pretend to work with these people. I admire the way he feels, but you must convince him he has to compromise. No, Max, no. Maria, you must. Max, I can't ask Georg to be less than what he is. Then I'll talk to him. If the children don't sing in the festival, well... It'll be a reflection on Austria. And it wouldn't do me any good. Maria, I've always known you loved us children. Now I know you love Father too. I do, Liesel. I love him very much. How can you be sure? Well, I don't think first of myself anymore. I think first of him. I know now how to spend my love. A bell is no bell till you ring it. A song is no song till you sing it. And love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love till you give it away. When you're 16, going on 17, waiting for life to start, Somebody kind who touches your mind will suddenly touch your heart. When that happens, after it happens, nothing is quite the same. Somehow you'll know you'll jump up and go if ever he calls your name. Gone are your old ideas of life, the old ideas grow dim. Lo and behold, you're someone's wife, and you belong to him. You may think this kind of adventure.
adventure never may come to you. Darling, sixteen, going on seventeen. Wait a year or two. For the captain. Rolf! Rolf, I'd like you to meet my mother, my new mother. Rolf, I'm glad to meet you finally. Well, I have a telegram for Captain von Trapp. Oh, you stay here with Liesel. I'll take it to I'm him. I'm under orders to make sure the captain gets it. I think you can trust I me. I have my orders. Silly, they're married. Oh, Franz, this telegram is to be delivered directly to Captain von Trapp. Heil! Heil! Rolf! Even Franz. Yes, even Franz. Even me, even everybody in Nornburg, except the great Captain Von Trapp. If he knows what's good for him, he'll come over to the right side. Rolf, don't talk like that! And if he doesn't, he better get out of the country. There are things that happen today to a man like that. He better get out quick. <sighs> Cry all you want, but just remember what I said before it's too late. And you, you remember too. <laughs> Liesel, don't cry. I don't understand. How can he turn on father like that? Maybe he wasn't threatening your father. Maybe he was warning him. Liesel. What is it, Georg? I didn't think that I would have to face this decision so soon. Berlin has offered me a commission in their navy. Well, Georg? Well, I can't just brush this aside. I admit it would be exciting to have a ship under me again. What I mean is it, it would be a relief and a comfort to know that you and the children were safe. But what it also means is... Oh, Maria, help me. Georg, whatever you decide will be my decision. Thank you. I know now I can't do it. Of course not. But we'll have to get out of Austria right away. You'll have to go tonight, now. Not without my family. And, and we can't just pick up and leave. They'll be watching us now. We'll have to plan. We'll have to have time. Heil! Excuse me, Captain. Sir Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here to see you. Thank you, Franz. They didn't give us time. Then we'll have to make time. I'll go see the men. We must be careful. What's happening? Stormtroopers? That's what I was afraid of, Maria. Max, stay with Georg. I need the children quickly. Liesel, find the children quickly. This way, Admiral. We can talk in here. Ah. Admiral von Schraber, may I present Herr Detweiler? Max, I believe you already know Hazella. Would you gentlemen care to sit down? We are here on business. Captain von Trapp, a telegram was sent to you three days ago. I have only just received it. I've only been home half an hour. Captain von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon, sir. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Your record in the war is very well remembered by us, Captain. It's very good to hear you say that, sir. Let's get to the point. If you don't mind. And our Navy, we hold you in very high regard. That explains why I'm here. Having heard no response to our telegram, the High Command has sent me here in person. Thank you, Admiral, but I've had no time to consider. I am here to present you with your commission. I am deeply conscious of the honor, sir, but I... And your orders are to report immediately to the naval base at Bremerhaven. <laughs> immediately? Why, I'm afraid that would be impossible for you, Georg. Admiral von Schreiber, may I present to you... My wife. What I meant, sir, is that we're all performing in the Colzberg Festival Friday night. See the Von Trapp family singers, they're in the program. It's all been arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Friday night, this is a Wednesday. That's only a matter of two days. 
I suppose you could report to Bremerhaven by Monday. Admiral! Is there a telephone I could use? This way, Admiral. If there is any question, perhaps adding the weight of my voice. It gives here only the names of the children. It says the Von Trapp family singers. And I am the head of the Von Trapp family. It's hard to believe, Captain Von Trapp. You singing in a concert? <laughs> Herr Zeller, you may believe in what you choose. It doesn't say what you're going to sing, or what you're going to sing, Captain. It is your pleasure to come to the concert and hear us. I would like to hear you sing now. Sing what you're going to sing in the concert, right now. Sing! Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Liesl, would you give us a do? <laughs> Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me a name I call myself. Far a long, long way to run. Drink with charm and Gentlemen, thank you. Wait just a moment. I have an announcement that concerns you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our festival concert has come to its conclusion. Except, of course, we don't know what that conclusion is going to be yet. <laughs> our judges are putting their heads together to come up with their decision. And while we wait, I believe there should be an encore. <laughs> it seems as though this may be the final time the family Von Trapp gets to sing together for a long, long time. I have just been informed that the Captain Von Trapp will leave immediately following the concert to his new command in the naval forces of the Third Reich. A guard of honor has arrived to escort him from the hall to the naval base at Bremerhaven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the family Von Trapp again. There's a sad sort of clanging from the clock in the hall and the bells in the steeple too. And up in the nursery an absurd little bird is popping out to say cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Regretfully cuckoo. they tell us, but firmly they compare us to say good night to you. the decision of our distinguished judges. We will start with the third award. For the third award, our judges have named Alexander Gruber of Herwegen. <laughs> and for the second award, our judges have named Fräulein Schwerwig, the first soloist of the choir of St. Agus Church in Merbach. For the first award, the highest musical honor in the Ostmark, the family von Trapp. <laughs> the family von Trapp. Play something. Five more rooms to search. It shouldn't be long now. How many of them are there? I counted only eight stormtroopers and their officer. Sister Margareta, we didn't know we'd put the Abbey in this danger. It's outrageous. The church has always been a sanctuary. Not for these people. This is a... That's why we put you out here in the garden. They only search inside, never outside. Isn't this God's house? Shh. Yes, darling. We must all be very, very quiet. We'll let you know when they've gone. After they've gone, can we go home? I'm afraid not, darling. We've got a long drive ahead of us. Lisa, let's all stay close to each other. (laughs) 
Los Angeles. No one out here, sir. All right. Come along. They've gone. Oh, thank God. Mother Abbas, we're so sorry we brought this upon you. Reverend Mother, we can never thank you. As soon as it's safe, we'll start. We've hidden our car deep in the woods. The car will do you no good. They've put a guard on the road in front of the gate. I've been listening to the wireless. All the roads are blocked. The border has been closed. <laughs> I always thought of these mountains as my friends, standing here protecting us. Now it looks as though they become my enemies. Never your enemies. Haven't you read? I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Georg, I know that mountain as well as I know this garden. And so do you. And once we're over that mountain, we're in Switzerland. But the children. We can help them. Father, we can do it without help. You'll have help, for ye shall go forth with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing.